Hello and a very good evening to all. This is Ashley Verma and I turn with Lexus and Company. Uh, and today in this video, I will be dealing with a very famous case named Mittu Singh vs. State of Punjab. It, uh, the citation of the case is Criminal Appeal Number 745 of uh, 1980. Uh, it was appealed in the Supreme Court of India and the bench consists it was a uh, five judges constitutional bench and the bench consists of uh, Justice Y.V. Chandrachud, Justice Sayyid Murtaza Fazal Ali, Justice V.D. Tulza Pukar, Purkar and uh, Justice O. Chinappa Reddy and Justice Vardarajan. Uh, the date of the judgment is 7th April 1983. Head notes of the case includes Constitution of India, Article 21, 14, 32 and IPC uh, Section 302, 303 and uh, CRPC Section uh, 235 Clause 2 and Section uh, 354 Clause 3. The facts of the case are following. The petitioner, uh, petitioner in this case challenged uh, the constitu constitutionality of Section 303. According to the petitioner, uh, petitioner uh, Section 303 is completely arbitrary and illogical as a re and as a result it violates the, uh, both Article 21 and Article tw uh, 14 of the Constitution of India. It, uh, it was also conduct, uh, contended that uh, this part is unlawful since the process by which the deprivation of life is authorized uh, in it is unfair and unjust. If the accused commi uh, commits another he uh, heinous crime after serving the uh, sentence of life imprisonment, uh, their sole option for uh, uh, punishment are the, dead, uh, are the death penalty. The death penalty uh, with a minimum, uh, with a minimum uh, uh, 10 years sentence or life imprisonment. So in this case, the, uh, uh, in this case a person commits the offense of murder when he was in jail. He gets, out, uh, gets the punishment of the mandatory uh, death penalty. This was uh, brought before the Supreme Court of India. So issues involved in this case are, uh, so there are two issues that, uh, that are involved in this case. The first is whether uh, section 303 of IPC infringes the, uh, infringes the guarantee uh, contained in article 21 of the constitution of India, which provide that no person uh, shall be deprived of his life or personal liberty, except according to the uh, procedure established by law. And the second issue is, does section 303 of IPC contradict the right to equality provided under uh, article 20, uh, article 14 of the constitution which guarantees fundamental uh, human rights so these were the two issues that are involved and uh, the court the court held the following judgments so the honorable court uh, held that section 303 of IPC violates the uh, uh, violates the guarantee of uh, equality contained in article 14 uh, as uh, as also the right conferred by uh, Article 21 of the Constitution of India that no person shall be deprived of his uh, his or her personal liberty except according to the proce uh, procedure established by law. Also, the clause uh, was initially intended to prevent life imprisonment uh, life imprisonment uh, prisoners from atta uh, attacking prison uh, employees, but the legislature picked the language that went well beyond that goal. The court, uh, the court made the uh, that the point. Uh, the the court made the point that the murder might be committed uh, for a, a variety of motives, such as hate, lust, sex, envy, gain, uh, etc., and that none of them uh, had anything to do with the receiving of uh, imprisonment, uh, life imprisonment in the prison. Further, the court also pointed out that. Uh, there is no comparable statistical data in our country regarding the behavior of life convicts who are released on payrolls uh, or bail. But there is uh, there is no reason to assume that the incident of murder committed by such person is unduly high. So I unquote. Further, indeed, uh, there is no uh, scientific. Indeed, uh, uh, the, if there is no scientific investigation on this point in our country, there is no basis for such treating and person differently from uh, others who committed murder. The court emphasized that there are around 51 sections uh, of the CI, uh, IPC that allow the life imprisonment making uh, the required death sentence while serving a life imprisonment is illogical. Even if a person receives life imprisonment under section 467 for forgery, breach of trust or counterfeit a coin or counterfeiting a coin, he will still be required to receive a mandatory death, uh, death sentence under this section if he kills someone. 
there is uh, there will be no consideration given to uh, to the fact that the two offenses have nothing in common both offenses would have been uh, with different motives therefore uh, the court held that to uh, to prescribe a mandatory sentence of death for this uh, for the second uh, of such offense for the reason that the offender was uh, under the sentence of life imprisonment for the first uh, of such offense is arbitrary and beyond the bound, uh, bounds of all the reasons by referring to the case of jagmohan singh versus state of up the court noted that uh, the judge uh, do have a lot of discretion when deciding the har uh, harshness of punishment even if the rule does not provide the court any discretion when making a judgment uh, against a life convict which must uh, must only be a death sentence the court accept uh, that uh, the court accept that section 303 of ipc infringes the article 14 that is right to equality as well as article 21 of the constitution of india that uh, that is no person shall be deprived of his or her uh, Uh, life of personal liberty except according to the procedure established by law justice chinappa reddy uh, said that i quote it is out of tune with the uh, with the march of the times it is out of tune with the rising tide of human consciousness it is out of the tune with the philosophy of the enlightened uh, constitution like uh, like ours i unquote so further section 303 of ipc specifically violates article 21 of the constitution of india such a law must be inevitably uh, be criticized as being arbitrary and oppressive section 303 of ipc is such a law that must be abolished like all of other harmful laws i concur with my uh, lord Je uh, chief justice that section 303 of ipc must be declared unconstitutional for violating of uh, violating of constitution section 303 of ipc must be declared unconstitutional in short a uh, a uh, compulsory death sentence uh, for a murder co committed inside or outside jail by a person serving a life sentence is not justified by section 303 of ipc so this was it hope you like the video thank you so much